Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Arr, ahoy, crew members. Today's show is a service of our Amazon page. Please remember to shop Amazon, and when you do, go to MikeO'MaraShow.com slash Amazon, or click the Amazon link on our website. It's the best way to shop and the best way to support this show. Thank you. Available on demand every day in iTunes and the Google Play Store and around the world on MikeO'MaraShow.com. What more can we do for you? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. How you doing, fellas? Hi, Mike. It's Good. Monday. Good Let me morning. just uh, start the show today by asking uh, one question. Uh, okay, Shoot. just one, just one question. How was your fantasy weekend? <laughs> Not good for me. You know what, Mike? If you take my worst score and subtract from it my better score, I'm still not within 85 point places of you. Because I saw a name at the top of the... I refreshed my computer twice. I said Thank there you, must Rob. be some sort of mistake. Must be some sort of aberration. Or like Trip Affleck said... The fix is in. Oh, no, Trip, and that's why I told you to lick it. The fix is not in. Hey, hey, hey here's, a, here's a thing. Don't ever tell Trip to lick it. Well, he'll do it. Right. <laughs> now, listen. <laughs> there, is, there is every possibility that uh, I could be bumped out of the top spot tonight because there is a person on my heels that has a receiver that I don't know going, but I will tell you, I am not only leading the Fantasy League on Monday after the football Sunday is concluded. Yes. I am not only at the top of my own league. How much does that piss people off? I am here to tell you that I I am very, very excited because I have another player going tonight. And it's, a, mis- and it's a mystery player, isn't it? No. I am not, it is. Uh, well, a lot of people, you won't know the player. I can tell you who the But I mean, when you, when you bring up your lineup, doesn't it say... Receiver will be revealed at game time. Aren't you at playing game that time. game? Yes, that's, at game time. You that's, are, uh, that's the way that works. You are Senor Mysterioso. I tell you what, <laughs> it is a very, it was a very, very interesting day in the O'Mara household because, as Carla said, do you know you have been watching football all day long? I and I looked at her. I said, it has changed. I am addicted. This is a big deal for me. I've got my new source. God, you know, not to offend, but all those years that I wallowed around with Rofo, Rofo with his mediocre Just lineups weekend, time yeah, and wasting your money. my time and my money, Oscar. Absolutely. <laughs> now I have my source that has another source that he shares with me, and I'm not going to reveal that name again. I actually got in got touch with your source because I saw how well you did this week, mm-hmm. and then he's going to be my whoa, source wait, next whoa, hold, week. Wait, 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 hold, all right, hold, hold, hold. stop the Bill Conti. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Mike, kill the Bill Conti. This is a game changer. All right, hold on, hold on a second. What do you mean? What? 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 Because well, what? your you what? source wrote you me. Don't, you can't go to my source. That's not the way it he works. He wrote me a few, I want to say about a month ago and said, hey, do you need help? And I said, no, no, no. I already have my John Anthony, my go-to, my you ringer, your, right? Your GC, yeah. right? My, my and he hasn't really been delivering for you. Has. So did he, he reach hasn't. out and offer you no, help? No, and I wrote him. I, I said, I see you're doing well for Mike. Are the, initials, dot, dot, are the initials dot. BL? Oscar, are the initials BL? That's all I need. Mike, to know. I'd have to look, but uh, Ben Levin. But I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's again. He in, he uh, Facebook messaged. I never really. Well, looked at those I messages. just want to make sure that my guy is my and BL. I'll tell you his okay. full name. Hold on. A second. <laughs> all right, BL. Is it BL? Bo- is it Bobby there, Lloyd? No, it's not Bobby Lloyd. But I just want to say BL. This is me. This is me. Not not the other guys. That's not the way this works is it now. Beth Land. Well, he wanted to make sure that everybody was getting like the blood. help they needed because he saw that I was losing. So, meanwhile, no, nobody I'm offers just... to help me. But hold on. But that's not everybody. This is me. I want this to be my own. I don't want Oscar horning in on this again. Well, like every uh, every star needs uh, pupils, right? Every star but, needs some people that can foster, that they can mentor. But I'm the. But there I'm are so the many pupil. misused words there. I can't even begin. Yeah. Every I'm star pupil. needs a pupil. I speak, Oscar. I'm the pupil. Don't you understand? <laughs> I'm the pupil. We don't need you. We don't want you. Stay away from my man, I, I Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, how are you? Why don't Hello, you tell Brian. him? Why don't you tell everyone his full name so they can all call him? No, Brian LeCompte. I just want to say oh, thank no, you. Stop it! Stop thank it. you so very much. Now, Ed, would you like to hear my response to Brian yesterday morning at about nine twenty-four? Sure. Sure. I said thanks again, Brian. A little tweak here, a little tweak there, but I appreciated the info. You know what that means? That means that Mister LeCompte gives me a little advice, and then I do a little 
tweaky. We, oh, you oh, decide. say Oscar. You Mike plays, yeah. Mike oh, plays wow. fantasy football the yeah. way most people play jazz. Mm-hmm. There's I, a yeah. structure, yeah. but he There's bounces a, around within the structure. That's right. And you know, and and look at the and the, look at the beautiful music I'm making. <laughs> yeah. this, anyway, it's <laughs> no, it's so. <laughs> Meanwhile, Oscar's reaching out. You're reaching out. Brian's reaching out. I'm floundering in deep water, and people are throwing me rocks. I got nothing. I will tell you that Brian uh, gave me two of the massive guys for uh, the weekend. Hey. And so, massive. Hey. But he also, you know, gave me a, a guy that was just, uh, you know, not going to do it for me. And so, uh, you know, I, uh, I I just didn't do it. I So I, I you have a few position players. You have outwitted and you yes. have outplayed everyone in the FanDuel League. Mike. Well, the, technically, uh, well, could someone look up how did Jay Cutler do yesterday? How, how, how many? Uh, anybody, now, does anybody a, know how many fantasy league? points, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> is he in our fantasy in league? league? Yes. Is he still? And by the way, you know, FanDuel doesn't even have a commercial until tomorrow, so no. we're talking about our uh, little fantasy football league. So I'm not mentioning. Mike, it's okay. You're winning. We need to talk about it. I, I have to. Thank we you. We must. It's, it's well. How this is never going to happen again. This is not going to. happen This could again. happen again. This, this could is, be the beginning of what is known as a dynasty. I am on, a, <laughs> on, a, on an incredible roll. This this brain trust that I have, it's Brian's brain with this other guy's brain, who I'm brain. not going to mention, and then my brain. You get three brains. At least that's the way I understand it. You've got three <laughs> brains working on this fantasy football Three lineup. brains. Three mm-hmm. brains. And quite frankly, uh, I, I would have expected just a little more juice on the fan club. Brain about. juice. Yeah, I mean a little bit more, you know, uh, you know, our good friend uh Calkins, that guy that we were giving hey, a hard hey, time hey, to. Hey, 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 don't mention him by name. Oh, sorry. He noticed it and he posted it, but then it was just like, meh. And you know who's also up in the top ten with me? Whom? Uh Mr. You, one of your close friends, Mr. Uh Brian Sacco and Vanzetti von Herman. Oh uh, you know, Dan? Or, Dan. Dan 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 von Daniel. Herman. Mm-hmm. Daniel von Herman. He's yeah. got a brain. He's yeah. got a yeah, brain. But Mike, what what I think what you may not be seeing is that people love to tell you that they're winning. They don't like to celebrate other people That's winning. Right. Is that what it is? is I don't want about fantasy football, winning. Mike. It is the it is the domain of the selfish player. Because right. it's all about me. Yeah, that's yes, what it is. is. Yeah. Which is why, why you I need to. So much. You need <laughs> to spout to the highest from the mount, highest mountaintop. Your dynasty has begun. Yeah, you're your own advocate. cheerleader. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, let me just say that the lineup that I put in the Mike O'Mara show league. What was that? What did you uh, just? <laughs> Mac fell something over. Something crashed. Yeah. <laughs> Mac, what's <laughs> Mac? What's going on? Mac, he, what did you drop? What? What? His keys, keys fell out of, fell out of, his, out pocket. of his pocket. What time did you get in? What time did you come into the studio? He was uh, on time. Yeah, nine thirty. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, and, uh, if by nine thirty uh, you mean nine forty? How big are your keys, Five. janitor? They're big. Okay. <laughs> They're big. <laughs> <laughs> Rudy the repairman with his large keychain. <laughs> I can uh, let you on the roof. <laughs> 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 so uh, I'm not just in the Mike O'Mara show league. I am in two other leagues. Oh, how are you doing in those one leagues? One with a $25 entry. Wow. Now, question. Do you Once you get your lineup from uh, the Master Brain Trust and you tweak it, is it the same lineup in every league or is it tweaked differently it's for the different identical leagues? lineup in all three leagues. That is a course, man who doubles down and believes in what he has. Well, and it, yeah. it, it well, you believe in Brian. Because uh, the, the, I have calculated it based on uh, you know the performances. There's some people that uh, you, you look at the leagues that have tens of thousands, uh, right. hundreds of thousands, actually, and I am in the top. The uh, I'm going to lay this out on you, okay? The mm-hmm. least I can win this week on FanDuel is thirty five thousand dollars? Whoa! The least. The least. Well, actually, that I have the potential to win five hundred thousand dollars. Whoa! If I have but a uh, to be fair, do you believe me? To be fair, no. Mike, the you least you me? can win. I'm lying! <laughs> I'm lying! I'm lying! Of course, I'm not going to win thirty five thousand dollars. I'm going to win a hundred dollars if I get lucky. I'm going to win a hundred dollars. I'm not going to win thirty five. Do- those are the type of dollars you just you're quiet about and pray to little mm-hmm. baby Jesus. Yeah, about. yeah, and, and, you, and that's, that's also don't that tell your wife about money. Well, no, here's the thing: if it was really true, I wouldn't have said anything. But uh, but I can talk about the Mike O'Mara Show League because it's a smaller league. It's three hundred of our closest possible. Friends. And we've got our eye on you. And you know, I've got a suggestion. When you win the first prize this week, Knockwood, yes. don't call him Brian LeCompte. Call him Brain LeCompte. Change you know those what? letters around. Call him Brain. Brain? Brain. Brain. That's it. And thanks for bringing the name up again, Ryan, Well, you're the one who brought it up. You can't 
help yourself. And, but but I brought it up, and then you brought it up again. Yeah, what's the last you're name? Lipton? To, you're, yeah, you're, Clifton, you're right? trying, You know, between both of you, he's calling him. <laughs> at least you're not calling him, but you're mentioning him in public again. No, what right? I'm going to do is I'm just going to start BC. Bail. BC. Hey, hey, BC. Yeah, even though there's a L in there, call him BC. Reach that's out it. to me, man. I'm just going to start, my, from now on, I'm going to just start mailing you a check every Sunday morning. Because obviously that's it. Because no, it's it's fun the so dynasty playing. begins. It's, and I like to see when Big Papa gets into the top three. I do Because that too. means he's getting paid. Well, And he's going to come little... in here very happy. Yep. It's mm -hmm. going to be a good little... week as long as Mike wins. This and Mike wins. Right. Mikey <laughs> wins. Who's the big winner? Yeah, who's winning now? <laughs> yeah, Mikey wins. <laughs> well, I've never started a show with a fuck you before. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> it's the Mike O'Mara Show. You can listen to the Mike O'Mara Show at www.mikeomarashow.com. Stay tuned for an outstanding entertainment program. It's the <laughs> Mike O'Mara Show. Let's get down to business. We're on the entertainment capital of the world. Look, you're a great writer. We make... I don't see it. Mr. King, I'm a screenwriter. If I couldn't write... I'd starve. Trombo, we can't afford you. Well, how much did you pay for the script of that? Bad Men of Tombstone. 1200 bucks. All right. I'll write you a movie for 1200 then. And you don't want your name on it? No, you don't want my name on it. You got that right. Especially if you're still, uh, you know, up to stuff. Oh, yeah? Perpetually. We know, okay? It's a small town. The gossip's always true. Fire Dalton Trumbo and the rest of them. Or you got pickets, headlines, and boycotts. We will put you right out of business. We? The Motion Picture Alliance for the Preservation of American Ideals. Me and Ron Reagan, Hedda Hopper, Guild Studio Heads, John Wayne. I love John Wayne. Well, I'll introduce you. You guys could do a movie together. Oh, gee, that'd be swell. Except... Garbage! Hey. The Mike O'Mara Show. Mike O'Mara, Rob Spiewak, Oscar Santana. And now, from his office chair, here's Mike. Coming to you live from the Cappy Fiber Studio in the heart of our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., this is the Mike O'Mara Show. We are on the air and online worldwide, the Mike O'Mara Show, a daily radio show and podcast with the greatest listeners in the world. Why? Because they get it. If you're here, you do, too. We are delighted to have you with us. Sleep number. We love oh, sleep yeah. number. Tell you about it all the time. You know, the holidays are right around the corner. I don't know if you've checked your calendar recently, but they are. This year, why not give yourself the best gift of all? That is the gift of sleep, the sleep number bed with Sleep IQ technology. You know how much Carl and I love our sleep number bed. Since every sleep number bed is available with Sleep IQ technology, you can have the best sleep of your life and you can prove it. The optional Sleep IQ technology will track your sleep so you know how to adjust for optimum slumber. Whether it's changing your sleep number setting or making different lifestyle choices, you know what's working because Sleep IQ tells you. Plus, the Sleep Number mattress lets you choose the exact comfort that your body needs. And since each side is adjustable, it is the perfect bed for couples. It's also the perfect bed if you happen to have a bad back like yes. I do because I have transformed the way uh, my back health is going with the Sleep Number bed. That's what I attribute it to. I'm not lying. About that, I'm telling you the truth. That is what saved my back. Right now, save $500 on the Sleep Number Veterans Day Special Edition bed with Sleep IQ technology. No better sleep. The Sleep Number beds and Sleep IQ technology are only available at any of the 475 Sleep Number stores nationwide. Find one near you by calling 800 511 0061. And don't forget to lose your balance. And when you do, catch yourself right. very quickly. <laughs> And uh, tell them that Mike O'Mara sent Yeah. Hey, question for you. I saw you Fire smile away. during the show open. I was doing research on the movies that opened this week. And, of course, everyone was talking about Peanuts and everyone was talking about Spectre, the new Bond movie. Have yeah, you Bond heard and Spectre, the Peanuts are talking about. It. It's in the news you may not need to. Have you mm -hmm. heard of this movie Trumbo? I only saw it online. I've never Trumbo. even Trumbo, and it's, it's got like a, a it's a communist thing, right? The McCarthy It's about hearings, the blacklist, yeah. But the cast is unreal. Louis C.K.'s in it. Brian Cranston's in it. John Goodman's in it. And I watched I, the clips, and it, I saw the trailer in the theater. Actually, oh, okay. So that's where you saw it. It actually, you know, there is already a little bit of Oscar buzz for Brian Cranston, and I'm I'm 
But the marketing is horrible. I only saw it on Fandango just because I was I'm researching I'm curious it. about the Julia Roberts uh, movie that looks kind of interesting. Which uh, one is this? She's, uh, uh, she's like a detective, and she's trying oh, to yeah, find yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. somebody uh, uh, kills her kid or something. I'm not sure what it is, but it's like uh, it's a thriller, and mm. uh, she's been out of the game for a little while, so I'm looking forward to that. So, no, Trumbo is, uh, you know, Brian C- Cranston's on a roll. He oh, he makes great wrong, choices. So. He makes mm-hmm. great choices. Trumbo. Trumbo. I wish Jack Cook was still alive. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Trumbo. I don't understand why we could not even show up against the Patriots. <laughs> the Patriots rolled through the Redskins oh. like a hot knife through creamery butter. <laughs> really depressing game to watch. Not a fun one, no. Mm-hmm. Balls. You know what? And I will tell you, Oscar, that Everywhere. normally I would have been watching that, but unfortunately I did not have any ponies in that game. And the fact is that now I am so absorbed and obsessed <laughs> and in a crappy mood most of the day. It, you, I, I would like to. I would like to. Throw, uh, that's not that. That's not the pony. You're not. Supposed you said to play. pony. You not, said pony. Yeah. When I say ponies, I'm talking about players. That's what I call oh, the football players oh, that I have. I thought okay. the reason the Redskins lost oh. is that they actually started pony on yeah, the offensive line. <laughs> <laughs> Got a better pass. <laughs> um, I would be very curious because I have not been. Look, look, I have played fantasy football since fantasy football came into uh, being. Vogue. We've done it on the radio. It's been a promotion. We used to have a it's draft. It's different day. now, Mike. It's the it's week totally to week, different. baby. It's, it's changed totally everything. different. The last it, three or four years, it's really made a dramatic shift to the weekly play. Reinvented itself, yes. really, yeah. Skyrocketing in popularity. Please don't take it away from us. Please My, don't take it away This is the from question, us. though. Yes. Do you, did you watch? Because I don't know what you, what games they show you down there. Because clearly well, I get everything. To, I get uh, the, uh, uh, the the package. Excuse so. me. What I do? I've got. I've had it forever. I get an NFL Sunday ticket. What do you think I am? I'm a. I like sports games. I'm not like Rob. I like to watch every game. You look That's at the football like. game. Sure. You if I was them? if I was not to get that, I'd be watching Tampa and Miami for the rest Tampa. of my life, and that would be it. You uh, know, Mike, do you decide what games you're watching now simply with, with I guess, the defense or maybe the players that are playing in your games? I watched uh, the Pittsburgh game because I had a couple of players going in that Great game. Great game, regardless. Great that game, might, regardless. That might tip my hand as to what players no, I have. You know? And no then I watched uh, I watched the Tampa game because I had the Tampa quarterback. Which uh, did not uh, did not prove, uh, and all you're that proof still in the lead. Proof. Yeah, I'm still in the lead. Quarterbacks don't oh matter. That's a God. here's a little secret. Okay, here's Mike O'Mara's fantasy tip for the day, everybody. Uh. Quarterbacks don't always matter. Mm. Quarterbacks really don't always matter. You just you have to have a guy that's going to have his uh, his big day. Yeah, and, his name's uh, Brian. You, know, you got to get a couple of those. You Lipton. Know. That's uh, it. Lipton. 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 You're just obsessed. Lipton. Lipton. Not taking. <laughs> that's my guy. Uh, <laughs> don't say his name, Mike. <laughs> Jameis Winston uh, was my quarterback, and uh, that was when Carla really said, okay, enough. I don't care. I don't care. Hey, so, you know what? Was, but look at him. Look Why at him. You make Carla... against the Giants. He's a rookie. Got... Drew Brees threw for seven touchdowns against the Giants. Why can't Jameis Winston? Because Tampa sucks. Why That's don't you why. get Carla to start a lineup next week? And then yeah, she'll have an interest no. in it. I am now, believe it or not, I am trying to get Mrs. O'Mara into the game of golf. But this has been going on for some time, hasn't it? I am I am trying to get Mrs. O'Mara into the game of golf, and she has a lesson today because uh, I have one Women goal need for lessons, Mike. Well, no. I'm <laughs> first of all, I've been told multiple times I can't teach how her how to play golf. Up. I can't. I can't teach her how to play golf. I'm not it's allowed. A, why? Because do you lack patience? Well, it, it's not that. I, it's that men and women. T- yeah, do you Are you having patience? a good time? Are you having a good time? Mike, I are, are you really? You. Looking, I see you. you looking over. But you having? Okay, I know I'm impatient. <laughs> no, no. I know I'm impatient. I'm just trying bastard. to figure out the problem. <laughs> the problem is you today. No, pal. no, That's no, pal. Pal, is. pal. It's you. It's you. <laughs> okay, why uh, do we, Now have you given her lessons before you cuz you've been on her for no, a while. Like I got her a lesson. I don't I, I don't teach okay. her how to play. I will not t- I will not go near that. Carla is my boss. I think you're oh, all aware of that. Yeah. I think you're uh, Oscar I, Oscar as much as that pains you you know it's true. You've been down here. You're You've seen us my interact. Hero. You know. My hero. My hero. Say that. She is oh. she runs the household. 
She Look, does. I'll say this. She does do that. She keeps you alive, and I'll and I'll always be. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Would you like to start that from the top, Oscar? She keeps you alive, right? Yes. And I'll always be indebted to her for that. For keeping me alive. Yes. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yes, but that's dovetailed but into lots of other things. She like doesn't. You are your own man. You Can do I give what you, you want. I do what I want, but I am also as uh, long as she in, says. Apparently, yeah. I am indebted to her for helping me, and I still. What I am also trying to do is, I am trying in my in the last third, or some might say the last eighth of my life. Oh, I am ho, tra- ho! Hey. No, 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 no! Second half, baby. Yeah, You're baby. just in the second, second half. half. Thank the you band has played. The marching band has played, and we're just starting You're the second half. You're down by twenty-one, though. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me get. You know, this probably is going to work. <laughs> Well, today I go to the, my least favorite doctor uh, by name and my favorite doctor by personality and relationship. Oh, okay. Uh, my colorectal surgeon, which is Ooh. the nastiest name for a doctor. It just makes you cringe, doesn't it? It's when you ass, hear man. that? Colorectal. And this is a lady that actually has oh, been lady. lecturing me on the weight loss. And okay. So I'm going in today, hopefully, to get my little pat on the head uh, for doing what I did. And then uh, she's going to say, we'll see you next month and continue yeah. to do what you're doing. And, uh, you know, hopefully everything's going to be you got to uh, give her like my body. Day. you got to give her that when you walk yeah. in. Like my body. Like my body. <laughs> like Play my body. Uh, <laughs> uh, but here in Cocoonville, um, two things are happening. We are we are doing better than we did last year. You know, I bitched in what a lot way? last year. There, the, you're here a year. You know people a little bit better. There are. Uh, with that said, the mean people are still the mean people. But by and large, the, <laughs> well, yeah, actually, kind of a younger demo that's just kind of. You know, we we had the uh, Cocoonville party. Uh, I'll tell you about that in a second. It was All right. fine, but it's really. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm just I'm having better conversations with people down here. I'm more knowledgeable of the people around me, which is you know it's getting established in the neighborhood. You're you're kind of Do you uh, think it looking is, forward to that. You know, uh, my it, next door neighbors are moving. A lot of good things are happening. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, no. What are you doing? I'm kidding. Do you blame it mostly? Not blame it. Let me see. Do you credit it mostly on the fact that you are more entrenched now and you are yes. more a part of the scene? You haven't yeah, changed. The people uh, haven't changed. It's, 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 it's scene, man. It's, ju- it's yeah. just that yeah. people At the scene. have been very kind, and uh, you know, and, and I just uh, I. I know uh, the backstories of some of these people, and it just makes it more pleasant. And, you know, having Michael in a preschool is a good situation mm-hmm. for us, too. A lot of stuff is happening where we're kind of in a rhythm down here, and it's uh, it's working. Uh, th- this whole deal is seems to be working down here. You, you have to figure stuff out. You really do. A lot of stuff to figure out. My life has dramatically changed over the last two years. Yes, I And see. if you get a cool neighbor, that's another big win for you. Yes. It would be, it would be wonderful, but I don't fantasize over the the fact that we're going to have, uh, you know, a thirty-five to forty-five-year-old couple move in. They're not next allowed, door though, right? With, with, with a fifty-five two- plus. <laughs> is, it, is there requirements in the neighborhood, or is it just that it happened? Okay, naturally? if there were requirements in the neighborhood, how would I be allowed to live here with a kid? That's true. If there are requirements well, in the neighborhood, they're, they're you're, you're, you're not asking that. Upon that you, in the shadows. You're, you're not asking that because you're curious. You're asking that to bust balls. No, no, that's no, why no, you're no, because you know my mom lives in a. You've uh, told us mean. this. You've told us it was fifty-five plus. Yeah. It, no, I never told you that. Those words have never ever oh. come out of my mouth because it's not true. That, this well, is not. And why you know what? It does. You. It makes sense because he bought the house long before he was yeah, fifty-five. Yeah, but that's when he had. But like, I have hey, also. I know this is the age requirement. Here's an extra bonus for letting. No, that Don't is check not any true. papers. Yes. Yeah, I hope we can push this through. Tartunian <laughs> construction signed <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, I never said this was one of those communities. I said that the average age in here ah. was older, ah. that it's skewed older. But there have been kids. My uh, my neighbors raised their kid here. One of their kids here. So and both their kids. I think they raised them both here. So that's you know that's the. But with that Got said, th- this is not. There are not a lot of kids on bikes riding around. There are a lot of old people on bikes riding around. But the fact is. That's that's just the way it is. I don't know how we got on this, but I mean, it's okay. uh, you know, it's just uh, you know we're trying to figure it out. Nothing cool neighbors are coming. Stone. Cool yeah. neighbors. Uh, are good coming. neighbors are coming. Yeah. That good would vibes. be that would be interesting. I I don't know. You know, it's uh, but but they you know it, who knows who's gonna. I don't know when that's gonna happen. You have to you know you have to maybe one of my and, people will move in. Spice up the joint. Uh, oh, a douchebag? No, I would love no. That. Latin, Latin. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. I would. I would. Nothing would make me more <laughs> yeah. happy. I would love that. Yeah. I I Some love that. diversity. That's I've been a in your diversity neighborhood. rocks. It's a lot of yes. white. Yes. <laughs> a lot of white yeah. people. Mike's neighborhood, if you want to approximate it, looks like a bottle of aspirin. 
It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> so true. It's so true. Hey, yeah, look, Mike, yeah. it's your neighbors. Look. <laughs> Here they are. <laughs> Extra strength neighborhood. 100 coded neighbors. There they are. <laughs> uh, over here in uh, apartment 3C, we have the aspirins. The aspirins have been living here. Uh, hey, what time are the cotton balls coming over, honey? What time are the cotton balls coming over? Hey, you know uh, John, John and Phyllis Marshmallow? <laughs> they're coming. <laughs> they're right here. <laughs> what time are uh, how, Oh, well, good afternoon, Mr. Printer Paper. How are you? It's good to see you, Mr. Printer Paper. So nice. So nice to be with you. Good to see you. <laughs> what a what a true delight this is. Oh, How okay. about our are the nice. are the eggs are the eggs coming? Are the eggs coming? All twelve yes, of but, them. <laughs> but they're leaving the yolks at home. Uh, that's right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll take a break. I'll tell you all about the uh, first Cocoonville party of the season. And uh, why did somebody wish Rob good luck? I, uh, oh. I get curious about that. Yeah. And we, we have to we have to bust out this guy. And, okay. Uh, so find out. Find out who it was. I want I want a full investigation. We'll take a break. Come back with more fun and more thrills. You are listening to the Michael Bella Show. Yeah. Hi, I'm Tony Perkins. Hi, I'm Gary Stein. You know, Gary, if you want the latest information about the latest technology, there's only one place to go. Wikipedia? No, Tech 411 starring Oscar Santana and Todd Moore. I've never heard of it. Oh, they're both very lonely, sad guys. Oh. Into tech, <laughs> That's and, painful. And uh, they want to share that with the world. I didn't know they had a podcast. Yes, they do. It's right here as part of the Moore Broadcasting Network. Who? For more information, <laughs> visit us at morebroadcasting.com. Touche, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. How about Tony and Gary giving you a plug? Oh, very so sweet. Very nice, nice guys. guys. Uh, let me see. I'm, uh, I'm on touch of modern.com right Oh, now. the best. Yeah, uh, you are. Look at this. This is just so very, very cool. I got my got iWatch stands. I got them you in. You did? Oh, you did? They came in yesterday, and I got one, a gold one for Shannon and a silver one for myself. And I said, well... This is great. I'm going to lay my eye watch on him. And now they charge and they're staring right at me. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, nice and organized. Mm -hmm. I like things organized, Mike. What's and not I do, like too. And they I were 20 too. bucks. And the original I'm, price was 50 bucks. Can't beat that. I'm Save looking at the $30. fashion accessories today. The uh, Have you gone to the Denim Depot, Oscar? At I have not Modern? yet. I have not. Were they, uh, have, you gone to, uh, have you gone to the shirting company? The I shirting have. shirting solutions? I yes, have cool. been there. And uh, have you gotten a reveal leather case for your iPhone 6? Have you done that? I did see that. Interesting. Yeah, maybe have. maybe Santa will bring me one. Ho, ho, have ho. You gone, have you gone to the watch shop? Have you gone to the watch I've shop? I've been and at the watch the shop. They have watches for watches. everyone. Yep, new yeah, and they vintage. Do. Here's the thing about uh, the new and vintage watches at touchofmodern.com where I, uh, I live there. I love watching uh, the different sales they have every day. You can go... Uh, as high as you want, and you can go as cost-effective as you want. I love Touch of Modern. They'll connect directly with top designers. They have timeless and unique products. They're fantastic. And once you get the latest clothing and newest products from touchofmodern.com, everyone's going to copy your style. That's how cool they are. Touch of Modern has new sales launching literally every day. It's the one website that elevates your lifestyle. It's a single click to do that. Quit being a follower, okay? Lead yeah, the pack. Mike. Be a trendsetter. Mm, yeah. Right, right now, our listeners can get immediate access with... Why did you say when I'm doing the spot? Why did you say, yeah, Mike? Because I'm agreeing with you. No, because you're being difficult. No. You are being Mike, difficult. We, what, he's what? trying to be your hype man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm agreeing yeah. with you. Yes. Yeah, Mike. It's tell not, him. It's not, no, no, that's not working for me. You button it. You button it right Zip now. It. Zip it, pal. <laughs> Touch of modern. <laughs> Touch of modern .com. Do it today. Because tomorrow it'll be different. It, yeah, will. it will. That's right. Tomorrow I'm going to do this commercial without Rob's help. Thank you. Uh, that's how life rolls in the fast lane. Touchofmodern.com. How, uh, how, uh, Rob, did we find this guy that was trolling uh, that said, good luck, Rob? No, I this, just uh, disregarded I have no idea what it means. I don't even know his name offhand. I think I that know. it's got to be a troll because I'm He's not doing trouble. Good luck. I didn't what do did anything this weekend. What did you post about weekend? this weekend? Uh, let's see. What did I post about this weekend? I woke up... Um, I had a quiet weekend on social media, by the way. I woke really up did. on Sunday. For some reason, I had the song Piano Man. Oh, I like beautiful in my head. song. Yeah, yeah, the Billy Joel song. Oh, yeah, oh, he, did, he, did one of his, he did one of his hack threads, you know, where everybody does the song lyrics. <laughs> he did one of his hack shtick threads. That's, I that was, that. you know what, it seemed, it seemed to land very well. And I said, if it, I ever met Billy Joel, I'd ask him if Davey did indeed spend the rest of his life in the Navy. Because he talks about it in Piano Man. Ah, and and then, one, you were, then... You're the hack of hacks. And then you someone writes, I won't, I won't bust him out but he wrote doubtful he died of als 10 years ago oh, or something no. and then i wrote well that's fun thanks yeah so uh, but yeah. that's i yeah 
You, yeah, could, yeah. you could delete was, a post like that and just let it keep no, rolling. More more fun to call him out on it, I, I gotcha. think. Yeah. By the way, uh, Horny Bob Spiewak, let me just say, on uh, <laughs> on the face on the Book of Faces, your TMOS pinup of the day, I heard the chuckling. Somebody made it over. My God, Abondanza. Yes. Uh, your, dad, mm-hmm. your dad goes through different phases, doesn't he? He, uh, he, go, he seems to be in a, uh, in a breast phase. I spoke right, to right him now. this morning, really and good. as we were winding, as I do every morning, as we were winding up, he said, I think I'm going to go choose today's pinup. Today we're being Zoftic. I said, attaboy, Pop, let's have a look. And uh, yeah, so uh, he did. He went Zoftic, that's for sure. I'm trying to find out who. There it is. Stephen Trumpy. <laughs> do you know that name, Rob? <laughs> no, you, but his you, last you know name, name is a great adjective for a presidential candidate. He's well, acting I mean, kind of Trumpy. It's Trumpy. And uh, so it's it's Stephen Trumpy. And uh, he writes, good luck, Rob. So I see that, and I immediately oh, go, did Rob, uh, is Rob, like, doing something no. this weekend that's going to be special? And so, and then this guy writes, I'm behind on shows. What's he doing? The, the Curious George. And then Brian Eagle writes, yeah. and this is when I stopped reading the thread, a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was it and that was a very short thread so you you didn't do anything no that required no I, I did weekend? some uh, handy stuff around the house i mean handy for me i suppose i lowered a closet rod hung a few pictures stuff oh, like that look at you yeah you know you do what you do when did you get into that i oh i can handle things like really? that yeah sure why not uh carrie painted a uh a, a mirror frame you know, it was a wooden framed mirror, and because she must have been way too busy to use any sort of masking tape oh, to, pr- to protect the glass. Taping it up is the is actually the hardest work, right? And so I had to uh, use a razor. Anybody that's ever painted interior knows that. Yeah, I had absolutely. to uh, use a razor to get all the paint off the mirror that didn't make oh, it oh, onto the hold frame. Hold on, hold on. Stop for a second. Yes. So let me get this right. Your wife painted the frame. Yes. And then you had to clean up the uh, mistake that she made why did she not uh, do that uh, because you know what marriage is a partnership <laughs> <laughs> no to be did perfectly you? honest i was tired of looking at the mirror with the paint on it and it was hanging too low so i said when i take you're it a little down, anal retentive that way you're, oh my you're God, oftentimes with something as simple as hanging a picture or a frame or a or a mirror it's a right way and a wrong way and when I was looking at the mirror and I didn't see the top of my head because the mirror was too low, I said, <laughs> this is not hung at the right level. Let's bring it up You're a few inches. You're also extremely tall. That might be absolutely perfect yeah, but, for your wife and your children, though. But you know what? There is a way that it can be perfect for everybody. And Carrie's pretty tall, too. Don't discount that. Yeah, she's tall. What's she, about 5'11"? She's 5'10", she I believe, yeah. 5'10"? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So she's, uh, but, but you are 6'2". I right? am indeed. I am, yeah. You're 6'2". So, I mean, your mirror, you, your mirror skews probably... Yeah, to be fair, you ought to, you know, to balance the rest of the family, you ought to duck down a little bit. Well, um, Don't my, you think? well I took off these heels, for one thing. I Don't was, you think, though? Seriously, <laughs> I'm being serious. We marched everybody in front of so the mirror, like, and what everybody's a lovely, fine. The, your kids are going by going, okay, Dad, we're going out to the school dance. I got a great shot of my uh, chin. No, you the know, kids that's are it. fine. Well, the kids, like, it's, I'm, for one I'm thing, it's a big mirror. I'm raising my up because I can't see. It's they a have big a ste- enough a, mirror. A step up so they can actually look at themselves. <laughs> I put a trampoline there. <laughs> Just a little one. I think I look good. No, it's a big mirror. It's like a four by two foot mirror, four by two and a half foot, almost like you would mount. As a matter of fact, at one point it was mounted to a dresser. But we took it off the dresser and we hung it, and then Carrie painted it. And Sounds then like I, a pretty good little Saturday. Oh, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. And I liked uh, hanging the closet. Carrie has uh, one closet. Hello, Boar, this is dumb. <laughs> Boar, dumb. <laughs> Boar, dumb. Like, it's Come fun hanging a closet rod in a closet where Carrie, there's two levels, you know, like a, a top rack and a bottom rack. She only took the clothes off the top, off the bottom rack for the pole to be moved. And so to actually do it, I had my face like in clothes to do it and it's not fun to be in a closet anyway but luckily at the end of it mike i came out of the closet <laughs> were they clean were they clean clothes <laughs> of course because they're hanging up but still it's you know it's a so dis- is that all you did this weekend uh, uh carrie got a new iphone mount for her car and i installed oh, that for her i know it's boring Boy, what can what i tell is you going on at your house just handy yeah. stuff you know did you go out anywhere did you cup. do anything did you uh, mm. did you walk outside the home or what we did walk outside the home we did some shopping and oh Oh, Robert declined going to see Spectre on Saturday. We were going to go see Spectre, but what Robert did, big day for him, he's been saving up his allowance all year. He sold his uh, Xbox and got a PS4. 
Oh my God! Mm. Yeah, he's so wheeling and dealing at an early age. Yeah, he's I like, like that. he's like a little carry. Why yeah. didn't he want to go see the James Bond movie? Because he wanted to play his Xbox. Yeah. I mean, sorry, oh, his PS4. It. It's, it's, yeah. Did Daddy want to go see the James Bond? movie? Daddy did, but Daddy couldn't find anyone to go with him. <laughs> so uh, Daddy could call me. I would have like. Well, done yeah, that. But, yeah, but then I have to come all the way into the city. No, and, and you wouldn't. We could have met at you, Alamo on Sunday. You would have done that for you. Yes. Really? Yes. Okay. Next time for sure. Didn't we have it? Didn't we have a good time when we went to the movies? Oh, we had a wonderful time. Yeah. Movies are cool. Movies with coworkers uh, work for me. Yeah, I, absolutely. I like and I, I, I like, you I like know what's fun? We go, when Mike and I went to the movie, I think we had three seats between us, which mm-hmm. was just enough space that I could look over to see if he was enjoying the parts I was enjoying, but not yep. enough to feel we were actually together. And that was also a spike in my weight because I behaved so badly in those movie theaters. That that marathon week that I did up there when I went to all the movies, I right. I, I, I have to be extremely careful. Because it was the big so, bucket of popcorn, the big that, No, I didn't do popcorn, but I did candy. I did a lot, uh, a lot of, candy. of candy. Yeah, but you, but you know what? Yeah. I think you actually... Kate, you broke even because you were walking to the theater. Yeah, all those uh, steps, Mike. Oh, yeah, no. that kind of it was a push to a certain extent, but no, there was one push, day where, where I you're I walking swear, downhill and uphill, maybe uh, half a mile. I, I swear, um, no, it's two miles. It was two miles to uh, get to the theaters from uh, where my hotel. How many was. bags of candy? Uh, uh, three, three. One day, yeah, but th- over no, no. Th- over three days though. Yeah, there, there was the one day that I had two bags of candy at the movie theater, and then later on, oh. I ate really, really badly. I went to this crappy burger joint in your neighborhood, Oscar. It's a, I don't want to, you know, slam them on the air. Slam them. They're, they're, they're right up the road from, uh, the, they're on the same side as the studio. Z Burger? And, uh, yes. Uh, uh, I didn't care for miss. it. You got to yeah, be really hung over yeah. to go there in my eyes. Yeah, Z Burger didn't yeah. work for me. Are there a lot of Z Burgers around? Is that I, the, it's the a franchise. It if it was better, it would be A Burger, but mm-hmm. instead it's I rated steak, Z. I get the steak and cheese there. <laughs> not not so bad. Yeah, it was well. It, it was bad eating anyway. You slice it. Yeah. You know, it's one and of those places you had that they night, throw they, the fries in the paper bag. You know, you've got the Homer fries. Simpson, the Homer Simpson clear. You know, it's a clear yeah. bag. That's the grease <laughs> cutting through. Yes, you read. Thank you. Now, you see, I don't think you did so bad at the movies, but you did have the day that you did the movies and then the hockey game with Rofo. And yeah. that was another oh, bed. Yeah. But I, oh, I seem to remember with all the walking you did when you got back to FLA that you were even. I think you were uh, even that yeah, week. Yeah, probably close. The thing about uh, the hockey game with Rofo was a cheeseburger and French fries. And then I had a hot dog on the concourse. And then I believe I had chicken tenders as well. Mm. I, did, I had three basic meals at the, uh, <laughs> at the hockey game. The concourse, you know. the seating area. And then what did you have before that? Uh, before that was the theater, and the that's, theater. Uh, was, yeah. that was one of the greatest days. It was so wonderful. I mean, it was, it, it was just fantastic. I mean, it was really going to, and and then of course I destroyed myself Wednesday at the meet and greet, and then uh, you know I was out of it for the rest of the week. So that's I mean, right. That was, uh, home it, to bed. Was, oh, what a that day. Was just, Oh, what a special day. I mean, it's been so long since I've really been able to do something where I went to the movies during the day, uh, you know, afternoon after all the work was done. And then I, at night I went to a hockey game and it was uh, it was bliss. It was beautiful. Speaking- even, even though sitting next to him, seriously, I mean, he is not that ba- big. He, oh, he I have worked with huge, bigger though. people. He sits Mike, like you currently work with bigger people. Seats. <laughs> what is the deal with? Yeah. Him, and really? you know what? I went to a hockey game with him that week, too. And he does. He is he's wide like a two by four. He mm-hmm. just, it's just, on. Uh, un- could have played football. He could have. He could have. Well, the thing about it is uh, here we uh, had a, they but call he played it the season. trombone instead. That's right. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I think he's a percussionist. People that gravitate he? to this. Yeah. It's not, it's not like we, it's not like we're <laughs> jock laden, okay? In this racket, in the, in the racket of radio and podcasting, it's not like we get a lot of former jocks that roll into no. this business. Yeah. You know, they're working, they're working basically in investment banking houses, yes. right? They're selling life insurance. You know, meanwhile, it's just like, well, I played the clarinet. Yeah. <laughs> And I, well, ponies like, the I'm only ex- the ponies the only exception. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Cycling. A stellar athlete. <laughs> did you do you, anything, Pony? Did you do anything athletically in school? In high school yes. or in, in like high school? school? I played, uh, no, in the, I played in basketball kindergarten. when I was really little, but no, nothing, no sports in high well, you school. You don't play basketball when you're little. You play basketball when you're tall. I, I didn't know how to play it. How about this? What activities were you? If we were to find your yearbook. Hmm. What? <laughs> yeah, yes. What activities were you yeah, involved in? Yeah, what composite? In? Yeah. Uh, drinking and smoking pot. <laughs> pretty much when I was in. So you're not in any yeah. like club no. pictures or anything. No. Club? I was in the party club. A V club. The party. Or, you or as I like to call club. it, huh? the cocktail for motivation. That's right. <laughs> That's what I like to call that. Absolutely. The motivational cocktail. <laughs> Mike, what clubs were you photographed in for your high school yearbook? 
I was the class clown, of course. Of course. Oh, the, so you uh, actually got a superlative. Clown. Oh, look at yeah. you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was in several was... club pictures that I was not members of the club because I li- just like crashing the pictures. <laughs> that's you. That's that's <laughs> that's, 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 that's what Don't want to work. Yeah. Want to take the credit? No yeah, big deal. That's, well, no, that's no. There's really no credit to be had. I'm just in the picture. That you were in the theater club, active. weren't you? Oh yeah, and, and, uh, Mike. I was. Uh, I was an elected official in the Thespians, of course. The th- is that what it was called, the Thespians? Yeah, you have to earn uh, your Thespian. Thespian is like an upper-tiered drama club. You have to earn mm-hmm. points to become a Thespian. Ugh. Yeah. What, else, what other clubs were you in? Because you know you were in an extracurricular club. No, yeah. I, um, let's see. You weren't in the debate club? No, I wasn't. I was not really? in the I, I think I, I just did theater. I, but I was in, I think, the pictures for the French club and the history <laughs> club. I think you can find my pictures okay. in there. It would seem to me, just before we get out of this incredibly stimulating subject, yes. I have to ask you... The, if you're in the pictures, that would mean that you would have had to linger after school and somehow be in the building when this was going on. They don't do these pictures during the day, do they? I mean, during the spent, school hours. I spent right? a lot of time after school because there was usually something going on theater-wise. And also, I lived 600 yards from my locker. I lived next yeah. to the school. So it was no big deal to come and go. And off-season, the vegetable stand wasn't open. You, know? you love bringing that up, man. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Chris Brown. You don't sell vegetables during the school year. Uh, yeah, well, Jerk. speaking of Mr. Rofo, did anybody uh, did anybody take a look at uh, Rofo's post? Something really? very curious, oh, indeed. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's not here today, is he? No, I think he's laying some pipe. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> like it. Some plotting to take care of. I hope I hope somebody has some intel on it. We'll <laughs> talk about Rofo, who is now in a relationship. Oh. When we come back on the Mike O'Mara Show. Looking like a good, good time. Don't disguise the way you want to love tonight. Oh, my, my. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. You, you, you can be our MVP. Just make the Mike O'Mara Show Amazon most valuable purchase. All you have to do, and incidentally, guys, nice job on the website with uh, putting our MVP up there. Uh, it looked really, really good, and I think it was fun for the people. That's what we we really wanted to do this contest to yeah. make it fun for the listeners. Mm-hmm. All you have to do is shop through our Amazon page, then tell us what you bought by emailing us at MVP at MikeOmeraShow.com. MVPs are going to be featured on the show just like right no. We actually have a new banner that will go up today to celebrate Mr. Robert Cole of Anchorage, Alaska. He is our MVP this week. He will be entered twice in the MVP sweepstakes. And he bought a Strider 12-sport, no-pedal, balance bike. A great way to teach your kids how to ride a bike. Very cool. Now, this guy's featured on the show. You'll see him on the website as well. Even better, this Christmas, we're going to cover the cost of the MVP purchases of five randomly chosen MVP listeners. It's our treat. That is truly MVP treatment and a little holiday magic. Now, anybody can win, and any purchase can win as well, but MVP purchases have double the chance to win this holiday season. Doppel chances, so you got to enter today. The more you shop, the more chances you have to win, so get busy. Go to MikeOmeraShow.com slash Amazon, or you can click the Amazon button on our website, or use the TMOS app and click on the shopping cart. Buy stuff, send us your proof of purchase, and get ready to win. Good luck. We want you to be our MVP. Nice. Woo! There All it right. is. How well music, timed. Yeah. Right. Nicely done. Like a disc so, jockey. So uh, let me uh, let me find this out. Is there any more intel that is I have on intel. Rofo? You do? You do on uh, Robert Ford? Well, I don't want to speak for the man, but well, you know we're friends, and I ask him about his personal life and spend time with him, so uh, he's divulged. <laughs> now, let, let me just stop for a second, because when Oscar says that, there's always that undercurrent of, uh, that that Rob and I do not engage uh, with uh, with some of the support staff as much as we should. Now I have a bit of an excuse that I uh, I'm not You're in elsewhere. the area. You're elsewhere. So, yes. so I'm living elsewhere. I feel but that always, I am. I engage. There. I engage with Mr. Bloom. Mm-hmm. I think that Pony and I we do you talk engage quite a bit. outside of the studio. Yes. Uh, when you walk in here, mm-hmm. I mean you and you you talk on the phone, but you don't. We do. Like get together. Well, we have. We haven't recently. When was the last time you got together with Pony Boy? I would say in May, and I thought it was lovely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what did we, you May. Do? What, did, what did you What did you do in May? Uh, he came over to my house. We worked on the Will audio you stop book drumming. Will you stop drumming with those fingers. Oh, it's sorry. driving me insane. I didn't it mean to make you insane. It's driving me insane. You were drumming more than you normally do today. I will lace my fingers and keep them uh, just what stationary. What did you take this one? Did you take any medication this morning? Did you take some drugs, some like stimulants? You, I, you know very, what? Uh, I am on Mucin X D. It might are be affecting really? me. Mm-hmm. You're very, uh, you're very uh, like your. What did your father say when you used to take long car trips? What was? Uh, oh, what we were you played doing the to... be quiet game. 
<laughs> I mean, it works on a radio show. It's okay. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> but uh, Pony <laughs> came over, and we worked on the uh, <laughs> audio book, and we, uh, he actually helped me with some computer stuff, and I think we had some So it was work-related, though. Yeah, a little, little bit, like, but it was- Set up my network. Yeah, I'll show you how to- Did other things. It was social. And Played it, with the jukebox. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We actually, we talked audio a lot. We uh, So technically, you can't give me a hard time, Oscar, because I socialized with Rofo when I was in town. I yeah. took him to a mm-hmm. hockey game. Remember? True enough. That Tell was, me some personal fun. anecdotes about Rofo. You know one that he might not know, Mike. Hold on. Hold on a second. Wait, let me, uh, hold on. Just uh, hold on. Okay. Uh, there's, uh, oh, he lives, uh, I think he lived in Manassas. I think he lived in Manassas for a while. Let him answer, Rob. Rob. You have a great Amphetamine, Rob. Hold on. Let me, please, calm (laughs) down. Take a sedative if you need to. I'm doing shtick here, for God's sake. Okay. See, the bit is that I'm struggling to find an answer because I really don't know anything about it. <laughs> Nor do I care. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Let me see. I, no, there, there is one anecdote that I happen to know that's personal, doesn't have anything to do with the show uh, regarding Rob Ford. Uh, when he was much younger, he actually... When he was younger, not living in this area, not living in the Northern Virginia area, but when he was living in another area, uh, Rofo actually uh, participated in uh, with another group of high school students. Uh, oh. uh, I oh. I'm sorry. I don't oh, 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 out of time. I'm out of Later. time. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know anything about him. Uh, Do you know where he went say? to college? Uh, West Virginia University. Ah, nice. There you That's go. Enough. I'll take yeah. that. Nice yeah, poll. And University. you know his his current living situation. Remember, he moved in with a lady. He moved in with a lady. Could that be that? Well, Oscar, do you think you know? Do you know? Anything? Oh, I know, I know. I know, I He's, know. Okay. He, know, uh, he know, posted it uh, over the weekend in a relationship. And uh, Facebook official. Mm, yeah. and in Is that a big deal? Is that a big deal for, age? His, yes. age, for his age? When okay. you go Facebook official, there's no going back. That's right. It's on the internet. That's yep. when you tell all your, uh, your back burner chicks, it's over. <laughs> What Rob Ford's and, uh, back and, burner and chicks. Yeah, and there's a whole soccer team waiting for him. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's so true, though. And it goes uh, so, both ways. Mm-hmm. Oh, for, it's one yeah. of those for, relationships. No, <laughs> no, but for girls, too, they're, they're basically saying, no more. Okay. This I've, I've got one guy. Or, so, you know, hold one, on. So, if girl. he posts that, just be, and I hate to be ignorant about this. It's okay, but Mike. I, you know, I haven't been in the dating game for many, many moons. I will tell you. So, when he posts that, if he's really not in a relationship with, is is he going to get in trouble with the woman he's dating? If I mean, oh no, how she's got to accept. Like, she's got to accept. They both have to accept the relationship. And oh, that's so if he post. posts that, she has to acknowledge yes, it. Yes, and, oh. you can't just do that to anybody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As you go, mm-hmm. <laughs> but when I. <laughs> When I looked at his Facebook official relationship yeah. status, he said he was in a relationship, but there was no clue as to who it was with yeah. or whom it well, was with. Well, maybe he wants to respect her privacy, right? Okay. But okay. he's definitely in a relationship. What do you know about her? I know that she's, she seems to be a very supportive young lady. As you know, Rofo is still uh, trying to find his way uh, career-wise, and I think he's done a stellar job in the last couple of years. And I know that, uh, interestingly... <laughs> Where he ended up moving in is a block away from where her mother lives. Oh. So does she, does she, and she, does she live with mom? I don't know if she lives with, I don't think she lives with mom, but I know that it's pretty convenient for her to go see Rofo and then go see her mom. Ah. Which he thought really. was interesting because she helped him move. That's how serious it is a couple weekends ago. So she's I, I strong, we, Mike. We, we have the time. We do have the time. Is it possible? Can we, can we call out? Yeah, we can. Is, uh-huh. is, it, is it possible to call out? Yep. I know I, I I know you guys freak have, out no, when I, I when I, I do this. I don't freak out, Mike. No. I think we're good. Do you have his number? Right, uh, let, I have his number. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Well, no, I just are, need to know from let him. Let me text I mean, him yeah. and tell him that we're going to call because he might not answer if it's a random number. Or, right? Mike, yeah. he might be Oscar's laying pipe. about that, mm-hmm. by the way. That's the best move because when we Skype people, they don't know what the number is and no one answers it unless they know we're calling. So Now, will you also ask him about his newfound stardom on the Tony Perkins show? Yes, well, that's a whole different thing that I was. This is this is uh, just blown that out of the water because I really am curious about. You know, this is the confirmed bachelor. We got a pony who's a confirmed bachelor. We got Mac who's a bachelor. You know, I want. I like to say Diego is a bachelor as well. Mm-hmm. We've got these people that I'd like to see them in relationships. I, I like it. I, I enjoy that. It makes uh, it makes the world more interesting and it makes me happier. Do you, you think are. that? Uh, <laughs> do you, you are really so think? Up. I, mean, I swear to God, it's like. Do you yes, really ahead, think but. that if Mac was in a relationship, it would make anybody happier? 
Uh, certainly <laughs> not like the person Mac. who's in the relationship. Oh, I love Mac. I adore him, but I'm not sure that he has an energy that belongs in a relationship. Well, I mean, I think he looks to uh, you know his mentor, Pony Boy, who has uh, uh, decided to live a life of celibacy, and so uh, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, he probably thinks he can do just fine doing that. And I, I wish him. A, but the spotlight will be on Mac for uh, another day because right now Good. I'm curious about one of our own, uh, Rob Ford, who really has branched off onto the Tony Perkins show, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, and, and, and you know, doesn't have much to do with us anymore at all. He's he's a star on that show. Now. He remains he does a lot of work behind the scenes, and he is our greatest success story. Yes, he is. No, I would say Zoolander or Katie or Katie Cole. Okay. Yeah. Well, they've, they've I tried to say much. something nice. No, no. <laughs> hey, uh, Rob Ford. Rob Ford. Rob Ford. You're on there. Rofo, how are you? How's it going? It's going great. Uh, you know, we just had to call because you're the subject of today's show because uh, your Facebook post in a relationship and we've been discussing it it's really not fair of us to discuss this without you know your input because uh it it was a surprise to me and i rob was it a surprise to you as well 100 percent. i was flabbergasted we're we're all flabbergasted but we're happy this is uh, yes this is quite happy for you man how long (laughs) how long has this i'm sorry i don't mean to laugh at that 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 (laughs) dripping sarcastic Oh, you know, I, th- I thought that super, was sincere. Super happy for you, man. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. I appreciate the sincerity. Rofo, how long has this relationship been percolating? <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> well, uh, I've been seeing her probably for the last uh, few months here, on and off, and uh, been seeing her probably once, maybe twice a week here, pretty solidly, and uh, enjoying seeing her. So we went for the relationship. Yeah, don't you think it's a little fast though? A few months. Uh, yeah. Usually, you gotta you know weigh things out. W- was it you or her that initiated the lockdown? Uh, it was definitely her. So I, I'm I'm already in the hole. Oh wow, so to speak. You now now let me ask right away. We we kind of uh, we've kind of uh, surprised you here. I get that impression. Are you in the middle of something right now? Are you doing something? I'm uh, editing the uh, Two Man March video for the Tony Perkins show. Check oh, it out later this week. Oh, all right, look at that. All right, well, well, put yourself. All right, uh, take your hands away from that for a little bit and focus on the show that that, that, that all things spring from. Okay, thank you very much. We yeah. please focus. So uh, I will ask you because I'm going to be respectful of Rofo. If you don't want to answer any questions, we're fine with that. But uh, you obviously have gone public with this, and you probably assume that we were going to have some questions about this. Facebook official. Man. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. All right, let me ask you this. Did, yes. When she asked you to go uh, Facebook official, how did she ask? Yes. Well, uh, she, uh, what happened was she had uh, hinted at it earlier that that's something that she wanted to do. And I said, you know, with the show, you know, I'm not sure about that. You know, there's there's some mutant listeners that might harass you. I'm not sure about all that. Um, but uh, Does but she then finally, to the you know, we were Does hanging she... out, and I was, uh, I was, I was, uh, we were having a, a nice uh, afternoon uh, yesterday or two days ago, whenever it was, and um, and I just kind of, I just did it, and she was really happy about that. Oh, mm. does she does she listen to the shows? Uh, no, actually, she uh, she uh, uh, I was working on some work uh, again for the, uh, for the for the for the, for the, for the Tony Perkins show, and uh, she asked me, oh, I didn't know the Tony Perkins show had a website. What? I'm sorry, I didn't so, get that last part. She, she, she doesn't listen. She doesn't even know that his show has a website. Yeah, yeah, it was really depressing. <laughs> Is she older or younger than you? She's younger. She's uh, 21. Hey. Oh. oh wow. Oh, nice. <laughs> now, you spend a lot of your time, I know, working on, on all of the shows on the Moore Network. Yeah, but all if, of the shows. But if she doesn't know the shows, how did you meet her? Well, we, got, we met online. You met oh, online. What type yeah. of online uh, platform did you use? Yeah. Craigslist? What's that? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what online was it t- platform? Was it Tinder? Tinder? What's that? <laughs> I think he's doing a bit. Yeah, gotta be. What right. did you use? Plenty of fish? Oh, okay, Cupid. Okay, Cupid. Oh, okay, Cupid. Okay, oh, Mike. He's cheap. That, that, that's, that, that's, that's a free <laughs> site. Free when my my when your when your relationship status is predicated on a free website, it's okay, <laughs> Cupid, for you. Hey, you know what? That's Whatever right. matter, you, all that matters are the results, and uh, and and so far so good. This is this a good thing? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, she has she has a slightly different personality from me, so I think that's good. Uh, you know, maybe keep me in check a little bit, and uh, looking forward to the future. Would you like to elaborate on the slightly different personality than you? Um, she's uh, she's uh, a little bit more reserved. 
um, <laughs> and she's a bit more caring. Um, and we have, ta- so we have tape of her, I think, right here. Oh, good, we good, a, good. I think we have a tape of her. Let's uh, let's play that okay. tape, guys. Can we play that? Hold on. This is this is actually uh, here. We go. Hold on. Listen. This is her on a plane. As a matter of fact. Okay. Don't do that. No. What do you mean? Hold on. Is she being restrained? What's happening? I have the not It just said woman screaming on a plane. Mike, and because you, it's YouTube, you know, it's not any screaming at all because YouTube it's sucks. It's not your fault, Mike. It's the YouTube. It is. It's the YouTube, YouTube. is the hey, worst. Hey, Rofo, you, worst. you mentioned that he, her mom lives a couple blocks away from <laughs> your new place. <laughs> So, yeah, that was a, that was a really awkward uh, coincidence. There, I moved into my new place, um, and uh, she was she was uh, helping me look at some new places. And she saw the address and said, "I think that's where my mom was. The complex where my mom was." So we looked it up, and uh, she's in the one building over. Oh, and, uh, same kind complex. Of complex. Not oh, a wow! Oh, so that was a coincidence, not a deciding factor. No, not at all. Not at all. Oh, but, I'd like to ask this all, question: Whenever our relationship is in its blossoming stage. Do you share common interests with her? And if so, what are they? Do we share common interests? Um, you Don't know answer what? a uh, question with a question, Mike, he please, has Rofo. to if he's buying time. I look forward to learning more common interests with us. You know, you have normally been... Uh, we've interviewed you a lot. Yeah, we have. A lot too much more okay. coming. And, and, <laughs> yeah, Starting much today. And, <laughs> Today, this is seems to be uh, this is not your comfort yeah. zone talking about this, is it? No, I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm not too good about talking about my feelings, but, but you know I'm working on it. Your feelings. So it sounds, that's his feelings. Oh, wow, his feelings. Rob Ford's feelings. His, he's in love. The, our boy is in love. This is wonderful. Do you well, see? Let's not, go, this, let's not go too far yet. Whoa, uh, well, that you, was oh, wow, that was nice. Oh, yeah, no, but that's oh, hey, you're the one that taught him that, Oscar. Don't say that's not nice. That's <laughs> fine. That's exactly what. Don't that, put the pee on the pedestal. <laughs> I, do you, is there, so the what? relationship obviously, what does that mean? Yeah, what was no, that? Like, I can't let that Don't put the P on can't the pedestal. Put the pussy on the pedestal. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought <laughs> he was talking about an actual P. All right. <laughs> do, so the sky is the limit, though, right? You, you think you've got potential with this relationship? Yeah, I definitely see long term potential, and uh, we'll, see how, we'll see how it goes. Have you um, ever you heard know, him uh, talk this fast? <laughs> He is. It's, 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 it's like he's got some place to be. Uh, you know, it's. Uh, I'm. I'm very curious, and I don't feel like once again we've gotten that much uh, information. Uh, have you been? You've met the mother. I have. Yeah. Mm. Anything happening there? <laughs> Stop, no, it, no, no, no. Stop it, Brazzers. <laughs> Oh, my God. Now, what please. I meant to we're say... Close, but we're close together, so you never know. I don't want to overstep my bounds, but could you tell us any of your girlfriend's physical characteristics or perhaps a celebrity that she resembles? That would be nice. Uh, she's, and, very and, top, and she's very top-heavy. Oh, and you like that, don't you? Mm, I absolutely wow. do. Are they built for spade? <laughs> Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> I say uh, built for durability. Oh, good morning. Okay. <laughs> oh, you did <laughs> find the tape of the mother. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. <laughs> That's right. He goes over for coffee every day, and Rofo walks in the kitchen. And... Good morning. There it is. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you. Uh, any, anything else uh, before we uh, let you go after this incredibly forthcoming interview? Uh, is there anything else you'd like to share about the young lady? Um, you know, uh, she's uh, she's very kind. Uh, she, uh, you know, very support of what I do. Um, we get along well. Uh, I think she's uh, attractive and uh, looking forward to it. Do you do you plan on maybe uh, opening this world up to her? And like, for example, this would be a good show to yes. uh, to have her listen to. We, uh, you know, we're very excited for you. Your friends are very happy where you, uh, you know, one of the places that you intern. We're, we're very excited. Uh, would you share the uh, the Mike O'Mara show with her or will you just kind of keep that in the background? Because I can understand if you want to do that, too. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll share it with her and, uh, you know, hope she likes it and then that, uh, that makes everything stronger, you know. Okay. Uh, that's great. Uh, well, listen, uh, Rofo, uh, good talking to you. I hope we're going to do it again sometime. Okay. <laughs>
Yeah, I'll try. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Yeah, Bye-bye. good luck on the Tony Perkins show. Why do I think he's gonna go? Why do I think he's gonna go on oh, the Tony Perkins show? Perkins she's, all the time. she's blonde. She's blonde, blue hair, beautiful. Her name is Rebecca. I love her. She's fantastic, Gary. Let me tell you what's going. He comes on our show. Like... We wish him the best. Do we not? Yes. 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 Remember we do. earlier when I said he's our greatest success story? Yes. <laughs> Can I withdraw that remark? You may certainly. I absolutely. consider withdrawn, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Uh, that's it. Well, good luck, Rofo. Please keep us posted, please. I think it'll be necessary to re-grill when we get him in the studio. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. I just feel that's necessary. We'll take a break. We'll come back with uh, the news you may not need right here on the Mike O'Mara Show. He was speaking from the heart. Hi, this is Carla O'Mara. Hey. And I've been doing a lot of thinking lately about Rob Spiewak's bag. That's Rob right. loves a lot of things, mm. but what he loves more than anything is having listeners fill up his bag. We- that's right. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, right. That's out of rotation. Wife. Thank you. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Uh, so Rob with two Bs at MikeOmeraShow.com. Mailbag every Wednesday. Right Please uh, fill it up. Uh, well, welcome back to the Mike O'Mara <laughs> Show. Uh, you're reminding me. I, I promised that months ago that uh, we were going to have a new one. So uh, I'll have to uh, take pen to paper and create one for you. I'd and, love it. Uh, I'd we'll love it. do that soon. Hey, I want to uh, tell you, do what I do, folks, when it, when it comes to Harry's, uh, seriously, my morning routine, my Patrick Bateman morning routine, I the best part of it is my Harry's razor. I love, love, love shaving in the morning. And I bought myself one of those fogless mirrors that I have in the shower, and I love to shave in the shower with Harry's. It's so close. It's such a beautiful shave, and it's the best. And if you get your Harry's, you'll know it's the best. They make shaving a pleasure. It truly is. Harry's gives me a better shave, a razor that feels great in my hand and on my I love knowing that I didn't spend a fortune on razor blades as well. How do they do it? Harry's was started by two guys with a passion for the best shaving experience. So they bought a razor factory in Germany, and uh, they've been making quality blades for nearly a century. That means the best shave for your life, uh, of your life, shipped right to your door at factory direct prices. Harry's gives a 1% of their sales and 1% of their time back to the communities they serve as well. And there's always free shipping and always 100% guaranteed. That's Harry's. Go to harrys.com right now for this special offer. Just for our listeners, enter the code TMOS at checkout to get five bucks off your first purchase. That's H-A-R-R-Y-S.com and the code TMOS and uh, start enjoying the shaving experience that we're all enjoying and you will love it. I promise you. News! News. Donald Trump, you all know this probably. Yes. I watched it. That's Moments of my life, I'm not going to I watched it, too. Donald Trump hosted Saturday Night Live this weekend, and the critics were mostly bored. It it was horrible. It was. It It just, I wanted, I don't know what I wanted. You know what we wanted. We all wanted the train wreck. We wanted hecklers and, you know, controversy, and nobody got any of that. Uh, The material wasn't great. Trump isn't much of a comedian or actor. It it was bound to underwhelm. I think people probably expected that. Uh, The most interesting moment occurred at the beginning of the show. Uh, Earlier in the week, a Latino advocacy group called Deport Racism offered $5,000 to anyone in the audience who called Trump a racist during his monologue. So while Trump was talking, Larry David yelled out, you're a racist. When Trump asked him why he did it, Larry said it was for the five grand. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha. And you know what? I know that you, like me, you love comedy and you like when comedy works well. Do you know how much better the Larry David gag would have worked if they hadn't already shown Larry David in the opening yep. of the show? Uh, it because was there's, because there's no surprise left. They don't have any sense of that. And I, mean, I tried to gone. explain we that to Carrie. Gone. I said this right. is this was really conceivably a comedy moment that they right. destroyed. They and, destroyed because they, uh, Rob, I could not agree with you more. I'm wondering why did that lay flat with me. And it laid flat because you had seen Larry David. You'd already seen Bernie him. Now, Sanders, I, and it's still and funny. they've gone to the well. You know, they did it once. They should have done it once. They mm. don't need to go back to the well on that. You're uh, right. Anyway, uh, Trump replied, quote, as a businessman, I can fully respect that. Obviously, the whole thing was scripted, uh, but Deport Racism says it will give Larry uh, the five grand. I just wanted funnier. I, I don't know what I wanted. I, I wanted funnier. It just was. Uh, there wasn't any know. funny. There wasn't, it wasn't any funny. funny. It wasn't mm. funny enough. So a lot of people felt that way. As long as the New England Patriots keep winning there will be people who believe Bill Belichick and Tom Brady are cheating in some way. Here's the latest. This is funny. Oh, this I is haven't ridiculous. heard this. Oh, really? Uh, coming into this weekend's game, the Patriots had won 19 of their past 25 pregame tosses, coin tosses. 
Oh. Uh, on the surface, that may seem very lucky, but it's actually almost impossible. The probability of winning 19 out of 25 times is 0.0073. That's less than three quarters of 1%. Wow. Of course, they probably aren't cheating at the coin toss. I don't think they're cheating with no. the coin toss. Some uh, smart people from Harvard backed up that uh, by crunching a bunch of numbers and finding that there's a 38.7% chance that Belichick would have a stretch like that over the course of his career. For the record, the Patriots lost their coin toss uh, at the Redskins game yesterday. So. It didn't yeah. seem to affect them, yeah. though. They, they did no, okay anyhow. They, they, they thought so little of the Redskins that they tried an onside kick and successfully got it at the beginning of right, the game. Yeah. Right at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Right at the beginning of the game, and it was just beautifully ag- – look, you watch that. I'm not – you know, even though I'm from New England, I don't – follow the Patriots. I'm not a Patriots fan, but you have to look at that team and go, they are a machine. They are. How do they do it? Yeah. Every single aspect of their game. Special teams, like Oscar was mentioning, incredible the way they get the I job done. I sat there and said, no way. And I, said, well, I know. Yes I know. way. Meanwhile, yeah. meanwhile, Belichick is going up to the ref saying, now here's the coin I want you to use. Don't look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't turn it over, but I guarantee you we're going to call heads. <laughs> There you go. Uh, we complain that we want to see new original ideas at the box office. Yours truly. That's yep. what I'm saying all the time. But then we steer clear of the theaters until they give us something that's been around for half a century. So what do we really deserve, people? Uh, James Bond and Peanuts came out uh, of mothballs to save a slumping box office. The new Bond flick Spectre took the top spot with 73 million dollars wow. Mr. scholarship winner wow uh, the peanuts movie debuted at number two with 45 million dollars so that's uh those are the two big people like what's well, comfort uh, but you know the specter did get pretty good write-ups oh, even yeah. though it's an old franchise i think it's probably Spectre. pretty great Spectre. i don't know what the movie i don't have it in front of me and i'm not sure what they are but i think i remember that the christmas season is going to be pretty decent i think i think they're going to be some well, good movies star wars. To see. oh yeah. is that coming yeah. up besides uh star Dallas. wars, you know, it's, it's <laughs> Wars. Uh, Mrs. O'Meara will not be going to see Star Wars with me. I will have to see that one. Why? On my own. But I will see it very shortly after it comes out if I can get into the theater. I, will. I mean, she but that's a cultural landmark, like though. She doesn't care, Rob. She does not like the movie. How are you guys like together? It. She mm-hmm. doesn't like golf. She doesn't like movies. She needs a lesson, Mike. <laughs> she's, she's getting one today. She's going to get one today. I'll let you know tomorrow. How she, she needs she a movie lesson is what she needs. All right, thank you. Uh, Gabory uh, Gabori Sidibe. Is it Gabory or, or Gabori Sidibe? The, uh, the large uh, precious. Gabore uh, Sibide. Gabore nice Sibide. Uh, She may have broken the color and size barrier on TV. Listen to this. Mm. In the most recent episode of Empire, her character Becky made sweet, sweet love to a guy. And uh, she's very proud of it. (laughs) Quote, I'm the first person who looks like myself who has been in a love scene on primetime television. I saw it, Mike. Mm. I saw it live and in person. I said, well, we're breaking boundaries here. Wow, how uh, was it tastefully handled, or was it uh, was it dirty? Was it Look, sweaty? I, what I was could it? be an a hole and say it just wasn't doing it for me, but I'll say this: <laughs> yes, okay. that um, <laughs> this, now you'll say something. He, now he will uh-huh. say the the, uh, the the non-truth. Yeah, here we go. Okay, very good. Yes. It- <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Thanks for taking it. this one. It, thank you for taking. It this just one. didn't seem natural. I see. Because at one point, that is so horrible. Uh, what you just no, said. No, at one that point, so he horrible. the the lover, it, her love interest is is he, uh, is he a good looking fellow? Hey, girl, look, looks like he does squats and benches, and he's got a bunch of abs. <laughs> wow, were and, you able to see him during the scene? Well, that's the thing. <laughs> he was on top. God. I got that. But at one point, right. they get frisky. And he is supposed to, like, pull her, pull her around like they're in bed together. Pull her around and have like shift her his her way around on top of him. Mm-hmm. Oh. And I said, look, first you're gonna pull a couple discs. <laughs> slip. They're gonna slip discs, a couple yeah. discs because there's no way any man even that size right. could physically not do that and not hurt himself. <laughs> so I didn't think it was realistically portrayed. I say, well said. That's it. Uh, you know what? No more needed. <laughs> Didn't seem natural, Mike. There's, there's the rest of that story. There's a lot. There's a lot of story left. I uh, I just well. don't want to improve on that. But, uh, <laughs> that's fine. We are set to go. He that's right. hurt himself. I like that. You know around. that uh, he gave that commentary after you set him up with the play-by-play. It's like, like a good two-man boot. <laughs> <laughs> a new study by the consulting company Deloitte. 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 
Found the average person will spend uh, $1,500 on the holidays this year. Uh, here's how the 1500 breaks down. $487 on gifts. $348 going to holiday parties. $212 hosting holiday parties. $182 on clothing for yourself or your family that isn't a gift. $124 on decorations and $110 on random other expenses. That's a total of uh, 1463 so only one-third is going towards gifts. That's wow, that on. seems low, I think. Yes, sir. Does All on Amazon, all to be in our MVP contest. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ooh. A new study analyzed emergency room reports since 2009, looked at injuries people got when they were drunk or high, and found the percentage of injuries caused by 12 different things in your home, ladies and gentlemen. Let's uh, take this out. Uh, we'll go from 12 to 1. Uh, alcohol bottles, 1.5%. That's like a Jimmy Fallon thing, right? Yeah, That's, uh, exactly. Yeah. Uh, fences, 1.5%. <laughs> Bathtubs or showers, 1.75%. Chairs, I won't give the percentages. Tables, then porches and balconies. Beds at number six. Windows, <laughs> number five. <laughs> Windows makes me laugh. That's uh, funny. Uh, ceilings and walls, 3.6%. Yeah, how? Uh, now, we get, now we get into the big three. Pony, you're going to have, you'll love this one. Mm. Bicycles, 10%. Oh. Uh, <laughs> We're, we're not sure if that means time. people are riding drunk in the house or just tripping over their stuff. But either, way, either way, bikes and drinking send people to the ER. Number two is floors, 13%. We assume that means tripping and falling, falling and getting yeah. hurt when you hit the floor. And uh, the number one, anybody want to hazard a guess? I won't be mad if you get it right. I would have mm. to be stairs, I would think. Stairs, Rob mm -hmm. Spiewak with a 10. Stairs. Number Although, one Mike, when I get when I get faced, I'm always out by the fence. <laughs> the fence, yes, falling on the fence. I'm gonna go look at the fence. I'll paint the fence. Stairs. Seventeen percent. Seventeen percent of uh, injuries. Study also found seventy percent of all drunk injuries happen to men. We have that. We have seventy percent of them. Uh, there's only one yes! part of the body uh, w women are more likely to hurt than men, and that is the pubic region. Oh. That's oh. the study. I'm just uh, giving you the facts. Home? What's going on? Uh, seriously, just over half of the drunken injuries to the genitalia happen to women. Wow. So, uh, I'm not sure uh, exactly what the details are with that. They're doing gymnastics? Uh, What's going on? I don't know. We'll have to I do a follow-up. New. They're slipping discs. 61-year-old, uh, uh, now a little something-something, yes. Reeford Theobald was a city council member in Grand Junction, Colorado. We used to have a radio affiliate yeah. out there. Uh, back in 2001, and he led the charge to have a monument of the Ten Commandments put up in the front of the uh, city hall. The ACLU filed a lawsuit over a religious symbol being on government property, but the city beat it by putting up a whole bunch of monuments, including things like the Magna Carta and the Declaration <laughs> of Independence. Uh, you know, your tax dollars at work. People. Sure, Magna Carta. The whole thing cost $64,000 in tax money, and uh, Re Reford, and it wasn't Reford, it was Reford Theobald. Okay. Uh, Re Reford stayed on the uh, city council in two, 2003, which means he got to walk past his Ten Commandments monument every single day. Good for Good him. Uh, but apparently, the message on the monument didn't stick. Uh, Reeford was arrested on Friday for stealing a few candy bars from a sporting goods store. Uh, yeah, he shoplifted. He'll be in court uh, next month uh, to uh, face a shoplifting charge. The ACLU says... Uh, Who's your city councilman now, see? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a Ten Commandments joke. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> Who's in jail now with your monument, see? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, we'll take a break. Come back with the audio ball. Rob Spiewak right here on the Michael Maris Show. And Gary. Hey there, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tony Perkins. I'm Gary Stein. Right now, I'm massaging Gary's feet because we just finished the two man <laughs> march. Well, what am I going to massage? Uh, well, we'll talk uh. about that later. Yes, the two man march is over, and we've got all the highlights. Oh, you're going to love the stories. Yes, you are. Be sure to check it out TonyPerkinsShow.com. Subscribe on iTunes and download the brand new Tony Perkins Show app. The Tony Perkins Show. All right. When you give him foot rubs to a guy, maybe uh, spending a little too much time They're together. Very Oh, exactly very close. Very close. They're very good friends. Uh, uh, welcome back to the Mike O'Mara <laughs> Show. Rob's Audio Vault uh, brought to you by Next Issue slash Texture. I've told you about uh, our sponsor, Next Issue, uh, and how it's the best way to read all of your favorite magazines anytime, anywhere. Well, Next Issue's new name is Texture. Texture. And Texture has a spectacular new feature, lots of them, that guarantee you the best reading experience around. Texture is your all-access pass where the world's best magazines are always available on your phone or 
or your tablet. And you can get your free trial at texture.com slash TMOS. Texture lets you browse hundreds of magazines like Oscar Santana Ike, does. The Hollywood Reporter this month has a great article on the most famous party house in Los Angeles. And oh, uh, Oprah's Magazine O oh, has Oprah's favorite things listed right there oh, as well. Oh, that's awesome. Perfect. Hundreds of magazines. You can even download articles and issues for offline reading, and you can share your subscription with the entire family. And thing Mrs. O'Mara likes best about Next Issue slash Texture, they love the lack of clutter. clutter. No magazines right. lying all over the place. So true. Try Texture for free right now at texture.com slash TMOS. And the best part, Texture is offering a free trial right now when you go to Texture. Slash TMOS. Think about it. Unrestricted access to the world's best magazines from back issues to the old ones on the newsstands today. Texture. Try it for free. Texture.com slash TMOS. And thank you. Without further ado, let's open up the audio vault for Monday, November 9, 2015. Rob, everyone being on Saturday Night Live, but no one seems to be mentioning my favorite three seconds of the entire 90-minute show is really? that, yeah, Martin Short brought back Ed Grimley for a brief cameo. They were doing, really? The, yeah, I, they didn't, were doing I didn't stay a, with it. So I didn't they were doing it. a parody of the uh, Drake song, Hotline Bling, that basically made fun of the way Drake dances mm -hmm. and that they had a whole video and in a minute, for one brief moment, he said Ed Grimley invented this dance and then Martin Short, who's got to be like in his 60s now, was actually in the Grimley outfit. It was like this. Ed Grimley invented this. Taught me how to jump and twist. Drizzy Drake just stole my moves, and that's no lie. Hey! <laughs> So even if you did, that was it? yeah, that was it, and uh, it was a film yeah, because, piece. Because when you're going to get Martin Short, uh, who was simply the funniest guest you had in the last two years, right? You know, give him three seconds. I, I don't know what's wrong. with It that was show. a filmed yeah, piece, and so he wasn't even there on stage at the end of the night. Uh, yeah, okay. But anyway, that was my favorite part of Saturday. The Graham Norton Show had the 50... Mike, do you enjoy hip-hop singer, rapper 50 Cent? 50 Cent. Oh, hey, incidentally, 50 Cent is uh, pretty incredible if you haven't seen the pay-per-view movie Southpaw with Joe Jillian Oh, Jim I just Hall. saw it this weekend, Oh, wow. Mike, this weekend. Isn't 50 Cent it fantastic in that? great, and for he some is reason... true natural actor, absolutely. My girlfriend kept sobbing throughout the movie. And really? I don't know if it was because I don't have abs like Jake Gyllenhaal, or <laughs> it's because the the, the storyline, which, by the way, it was good, but not sob-worthy, really hit home to her. Was I she sobbing? No had she just watched that scene in Empire? <laughs> Stop it. Okay, that's hard. Don't not say believable. that. I'm sorry. Um, but 50 Cent's great in it. He I think is he's good. He is really, great. He's really good as a villain. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. And he's yep, been terrific. shot a few times. I mean, actual mm -hmm. gunplay, and he still has a piece of a bullet in his body. He revealed not only where it is, but why it's good on Graham Norton this week. Where were you shot? Most of them in the legs. I got hit my hand and the... So, like, a uh, fragment portion of it is in my tongue. So it kind of changed the way I speak a little bit. Like, and you're rapping as well. Still, yeah, what is it yeah. still in your tongue? Can you see it? Yeah, it's great for oral sex. Is it? Oh, oh my. Whoa. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. I didn't hear that. Good to know. Make sure you keep it wow. in the show. Yeah. So it's great for that. Matter of fact, the lady co-host felt it with her finger. Uh, so there is actually a hunk of bullet in his tongue. How weird is that? He's literally story. packing. Yeah. That's <laughs> <a> <laughs> wow. Oh, that is nasty. So last night, the uh, Cowboys-Eagles game went into overtime based on a uh, very, very last-second field goal. Mm -hmm. uh, although the Eagles went ahead. I think the Eagles won. But the beautiful yeah, thing about the field goal, Mike, it bounced off the upright, and it and was still good. But yep. let's hear the poorly mic Sunday night football gonk is still a gonk, and it's my favorite noise. Dan Bailey, one of the best ever in terms of percentage to send us in all probability to overtime. And Dan Bailey is true. Wow. Just oh, they didn't do a good job making it wrong. No, it that bums sucks. me out. But it yeah. is still a great noise. It's a it's great a noise. Yeah, uh, it was a good game. Hell of a football game. Uh, Tim Gunn does not like Kanye's outfits, doesn't like his clothes, and doesn't like the Kardashians. Of course, this is not a surprise, but... It Gun talk. Tim Gunn now talking like Mike's impression of Tim Gunn. Kanye West, what do you think of his latest collection? I think they're a bunch of dumb clothes. <laughs> Just basic pieces. Basic pieces. Wow. I don't know if he's going to like that. What, he, won't, he won't. But, it, what, but what let about, me tell you, the whole Kardashian clown doesn't like that. That's so surprise What is it, so oh, what is it about yeah. the Kardashians that sort of gets under your skin? <laughs> they're large issues for me, such as why. <laughs> Why? <laughs> but when, when it comes to fashion, 
I say to people all the time, and if you want guidance for your fashion, just consider this. If a Kardashian is wearing it, don't. And so, oh, wow. Oh, wow. me, yeah. Wow, with that I said, let it. us close with the Kardashians. Kris Jenner, bless her heart, turned 60, and all of her daughters, the Kardashians and the Jenners alike, put together a video and a song for her all about Kris Jenner. Mike, I know you're going to love it because you love good music. Happy oh, birthday, yeah. Kris Jenner. That's your magic audio ball. Have a great Monday, everybody. <laughs> That's it. Another Mike O'Mara show is coming on. He knew I was going to do that. You folks. never disappoint. One brain. Be sure and join <laughs> us again for more fun and more thrills at MikeO'MaraShow.com. If you want to correspond <laughs> with Mike O'Mara Show with a letter or package, send it to TMOS Box 2796, Leesburg, Virginia 20177. To get your message or birthday request into Rob's bag, it's <laughs> Rob with two Bs at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Remember, we rely on your word of mouth. Tell everybody about our wonderful MVP contest. Yes. Go to MikeO'MaraShow.com and shop on Amazon. This is the time of year where you can really help us out when you're doing your Christmas shopping. For Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana, Mike O'Mara inviting you to join us again for another episode of the Mike O'Mara Show. Bye-bye, everybody. So long. Ciao-ciao. Hey, not so fast, Mr. Big Shot. I got to tell you that MikeO'MaraShow.com slash Amazon is the best way to shop for anything and everything. Website, always open at MikeO'MaraShow.com slash Amazon. Now go in peace. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. <laughs>